because we don't know and we won't stop them. Now they can get away with it, but when we, but when Matthew through the Spirit applies this to Moshiach, we're heretics. Grow up. Now's the time to grow up. Don't take your tally off and also don't take Yeshua off. Put on Messiah Yeshua and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Any other questions? Complaints, comments, questions. Number two. Sister, I just want to bring to your attention. Uh, I, I imagine many of you are familiar with uh, Rabbi Telushkin's book, Jewish Literacy. Okay. Okay, and in his section under Paul, and I carry this with me at all times as sort of a ticket to be able to get in and out with, with the Jewish uh, community, but I haven't had to use it yet. It says, uh, Rabbi Telushkin, the conservative Jew, says, as long as the small sect of Christians, I'll read it like he says, differed from their fellow Jews only with regard to certain beliefs about Jesus, they remained part of the Jewish community. I love that admission. Mm -hmm. He does go on to say, but what's Paul dropped the Torah and dropped any legal uh, requirement for converting to Judaism, uh, Christianity ceased being a sect and became a separate religion. He at least admits, um, you know, we can contest over Paul, correct. but he admits that Christians, you know, except in Yahshua, but it was the same religion. They, they did not differ. They remained part of the Jewish community. Absolutely. So this is from their mouths, and I keep it with me at all times. Absolutely. But here's a shock, unlike Messianic Judaism. In coming in through the Messianic Jewish movement, which many of us did, we were taught that, you, that the disciples weren't Baptists, they were Jews, right? Isn't that what we've been taught? Well, isn't that more or less what you're saying? The original Tommy Dean were Jewish. Well, they weren't. Yeshua said, I'm choosing 12 for 12 thrones of the 12 tribes. Right. Explain to me how they can all be Jewish. Amen. Explain to me how Simon the Canaanite can be Jewish. He was a nice Canaanite boy, but he wasn't a nice Jewish boy. <laughs> Questions? Early birds. How many different, ver how many um, authentic versions of the LXX in Greek do you suppose exist? Good question. Um, many. Scores. I won't say hundreds, but scores. I'm surprised. I think most of us would assume one or two. Correct. But even the King James has many versions today. Yeah. The new King James, the new unadulterated King James, the new, you know, un-Anglo-Saxon King James. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, talk to me. I guess we're all waiting. We just we don't know for sure. We're all one thing. We're waiting. Maranatha till till uh, Mashiach returns and it straightens out the whole mess. <laughs> and by the way, the one other anti-missionary trick is the British of the Shah was written in Greco, therefore it cannot be the word of Yahweh. Time out, Mr. Anti Missionary. Daniel was written in Chaldean. Do we throw that out? Good right. This is a whole system of unjust weights and measures. It's unjust by Torah definition. They're not playing fair. Let's throw out Daniel because it was written in Chaldea. So. Well, I keep coming back to Jeremiah 31, 33. Okay. The Lord says that the new covenant will be written in our hearts of the house of Israel and the house of Judah. And it is the Ruach HaKadosh who's writing it in our hearts. And so it's the Ruach HaKadosh that interprets the scripture to us, is it not? Sure is. Amen. So sure is. That's right. So and the writers of the Berkha the Shah had more of it than we have, and they, and they wrote the Berkha the Shah. Right. Absolutely. So he's our teacher, and he's who Yeshua left Correct. and sent back to us. So I'm, Correct. I'm, I'm uplifted by that word. Yes. Oh, you're well, right. That's right. That's exactly right. We have a more sure word of testimony. You know, I, I, I told Bergson in Knoxville, I said, I said, you sure said my sheep hear my voice? You know, the Ruach. Okay, so either you didn't hear his voice before and you were teaching his people, mm -hmm. or you're not hearing his voice now and misleading his people. Either way, you couldn't be right both times. He says, well, I admit I was wrong and I'm, I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm also. 
I said, that's a cloak of humility. I'm not interested in your cloak of humility. If you're searching, you shouldn't be up here teaching. When your search is over, then you can teach. Right. That's right. Exactly. That's, right. That's, right. That's what you said, yes. I mean, you're, you're searching. You're a student. Don't get up and, and willingly mislead people and claim to be a moray when you're a Tommy. Mm -hmm. Questions? Sure. Good stuff, right? Yeah. Only. So, uh, so watch this. They wait until I say I'm going to Israel, you know, going to Israel, Shavu, trying to start a congregation. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just brand new. So then this is what they did. Just before I leave for Israel, they sent me on the web 34 to 38 pages in response to your paper, mm -hmm. Greater and Lesser Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And what they did was... Were these Messianic Jews or anti-missionaries? Were they anti-missionaries? Well, now I know they're anti-missionaries. What was the name of the group? No, it's a couple, a husband and wife. Oh, it's just a husband I'm afraid to ask you the name. Oh, no, no, you don't know them. They're no. just two people mm -hmm. that I know. So what I'm saying is I was like, oh my gosh, I have no... What they did was say, they began with, um, if Yahweh is a spirit, you cannot see the spirit and live. Therefore, trying to say that there, Yahshua is not the Messiah. He's just a man. That's how to mention That's what I'm yeah. saying to you. Now they're exposing, right. So now what remember first one. Remember first Yohan? Every spirit does not confess that Yeshua, the Mashiach, has come in the flesh, is not of Yahweh. How can we tell? Very simple. Don't stutter. Don't swallow. Don't pass go. Is Yeshua Yahweh manifest fully? Manifest. Uh, uh, run. Start running. There's nothing to think about. Okay? He's a Messiah. He's a good man. He's a kind of nice guy. He's kind of, you know, he was a good teacher. No, no, no. Is he Yahweh manifested? Them? If they start stuttering, start heading for the exit. Well, this is what I did. I responded. There was 38 pages. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what is this to you? So I thought, don't be a baby. Just <laughs> So I responded with, I think it's first John. Yeah, yeah. Whoever, I'll, I'm sorry if this is wrong. Whoever, whoever claims to have a father and doesn't confess the son, doesn't have a father. So watch what I did. I sent that back right away. So then they called me up and I realized, okay, this is an attack. You're trying to get me before I go to Israel. And mm -hmm. I think they wanted me to accept the fact that Yeshua is not the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And I why were you why are you targeted? Because of your situation. Mm -hmm. Your whole your whole family situation. Okay? That's all part of the package. See how you see how Satan picks his targets. That's right. So this is the thing. I was gonna call you but I got on my face to Yahweh and I prayed, what am I supposed to do? Remember, I responded. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now should I now, this is what, I didn't read the 38 pages. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do? And that, my question is, so this is what, when do we respond, when don't we? And this is the bottom line. Okay, I prayed, let me answer your question. I get your question. Okay, go to 30 Okay. I get your question. Go to 30 Very simple. It seems like we don't have a problem when the Mormons come to the door, but when the anti mission they're so nice and they're so righteous, how could how could a Torah keeper be all bad? And that's the way the enemy works in our head. Yohanan 3 and verse 10. If I so if I come um, I'm sorry, let's see. I'm sorry, um, second Yochanan verse 10. I'm sorry, second Yochanan verse 10. If anyone comes to you, anyone, email, internet, doesn't matter, and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or greet him. He who greets him shares in his wicked works. You see that? Now, what is, what is Yahweh saying not to greet or share? Mm -hmm. In other words, if you say shalom, you participate in their sin. Uh oh, have a nice day. What? Oh, 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 and we're so conditioned, you know. Charles Manson's at the checkout counter. Oh, 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 have a nice day. But we'll tell anybody have a nice day. You know, we're so conditioned. But look at you, the second Yochanan 10. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him or greet him. He who greets him should not what teaching. Jump back to verse 9. Everyone transgressing and not staying, circle that word, staying in the teaching of Mashiach, 
Does not possess Elohim. The 